Okay, sitting up, the C-sit stretch. C-sit. Okay. So we're going to sit with our legs offset, like this. <laughs> See how easy? I don't do yoga, so this is all <laughs> new to me. Right, so this is just, again, hip rotation motion, which, which some of us don't stretch as much, and you may not think in running you need it, but our hips definitely need it. So it's just getting the opposite twist in each hip. If you open that up a little bit more, the idea is to try to get that seat bone a little closer to the floor. <laughs> and can you feel that into the hip at all? Where do you feel the stretch? I feel it right here. Yeah, so it starts to get a bit at muscle, but also at the hip um, capsule, so getting a little more stretch in the hip joint. So that's more mobility. And this is called a C -sit. The C -sit. C sit Because the, uh, the other component, if you stretch your left arm up and bend over, so getting a little more yoga-like, because we're adding more pot or or stretches to the to the one component is feeling that stretch oh, yeah. through your side. Yeah. So again, getting at all those connective layers that work together. That's good. And you may find the other side is quite different. Because sometimes our hips are different left to right side from our habitual sitting postures, the way we cross our legs, the way we sit in our cars. The other side. Yeah. Am I doing it right? Looks good. Shouldn't hurt the knee. If, this, if you're feeling stressed in the knee, you've either got to just open it up a little bit more or don't do the stretch. There's always another one. This one's good. Yeah. Okay. So it's just getting all the different directions of the hip.